unleaded and synthetic petrol at the end of this lesson you will be able to define unleaded petrol and explain the different types of petrol describe the different methods by which synthetic petrol is manufactured petrol is one of the most useful products in the world today cars scooters airplanes and various other automobiles all consume it as their fuel it is also a source of light and other forms of energies petrol is a volatile flammable liquid mixture of hydrocarbons mainly hexane heptane and octane are obtained from petroleum the price of crude oil has increased rapidly hence it is feasible to use synthetic petrol when we enter the petrol bunk we come across the board unleaded petrol or leaded petrol what does it mean the main difference between leaded petrol and unleaded petrol is the additive tetraethyl lead usually petrol also contains additives such as anti knock compounds and corrosion inhibitors petrol companies discovered that adding a lead based additive eliminated the knocking thus giving rise to leaded petrol afterwards it was discovered that lead has some undesirable side effects lead caused serious air pollution especially to those living near areas of dense traffic this causes severe damages to the central nervous system kidneys and brain thus the government has urged the companies to develop unleaded petrol as an alternate by using unleaded petrol pollution is reduced there is no danger of breathing lead fumes which cause health issues as a disadvantage the old cars need an additive to make them run smoothly synthetic petrol is a mixture of alkanes with a composition resembling that of petrol this is obtained artificially from coal let us discuss about two important methods for the preparation of synthetic petrol they are burgess process or direct hydrogenation and fischer tropsch process or indirect hydrogenation burgess process or direct hydrogenation of coal in this method coal is used as the raw material coal is a mixture of high molecular complex organic compounds with a low percentage of hydrogen content low black coal is powdered well and made it into a paste by adding heavy oil and tin or nickel oleate as a catalyst the paste is then heated with hydrogen at a temperature of 450 degrees celsius and atmospheric pressure of 200 to 250 atmospheres for 1 and 1/2 hours thus the coal forms saturated hydrocarbons by hydrogenation the formed hydrocarbons decompose to low boiling hydrocarbons at a high temperature and atmospheric pressure now the gas is formed in the reaction vessel this is led to the condenser where a liquid resembling crude oil is obtained this liquid is fractionated to obtain gasoline middle oil and heavy oil the heavy oil is used for making a paste with fresh coal the middle oil is hydrogenated in vapor phase to get more gasoline the second process is fischer tropsch process or indirect hydrogenation of coal in this process coal is first converted to coke then coke is heated and steam is passed over it water gas is produced the water gas is mixed with hydrogen and the mixture is passed through a chamber containing ferric oxide to remove hydrogen sulfide again this mixture is passed through another chamber containing ferric oxide and sodium oxide to remove sulfur and organic compounds the purified gas is compressed to 5 to 25 atmospheres over a cobalt thorium and magnesium oxide catalyst on kieselgar at 200 degrees celsius thus a mixture of straight chain paraffin and olefins are produced the mixture of olefins and straight chains are passed through a condenser where the crude oil is obtained the crude oil is then passed to the fractionating column to get gasoline and heavy oil the heavy oil is used for cracking to get more gasoline summary petrol is a volatile flammable liquid mixture of hydrocarbons mainly hexane heptane and octane are obtained from petroleum 
The main difference between leaded petrol and unleaded petrol is the additive tetraethyl lead. Synthetic petrol is a mixture of alkanes with a composition resembling that of petrol. This is obtained artificially from coal.